So many things in an ultralight pack need to be multi-function. This is the one piece of gear that needs to just do what it's designed to do. This is a Lightheart Gear rain jacket. I want to start out by just hitting some of the big features that really made this jacket stand out to me. Uh, unlike a lot of the other brands that are on the market for rain jackets, this doesn't try to be a jack of all trades. This just, it does what it's supposed to do. And uh, it, I really appreciate that it's, it's waterproof and it doesn't try to be breathable. It's, it's really good at being waterproof and it sticks to it. It's made of a 30D ripstop sill nylon. Uh, an excellent uh, feel uh, on the fabric. It's got tons of features and so far I'm just really happy with the jacket. It, it definitely, yes, it can double as an extra insulative layer or um, a, like a wind jacket or layer it over your puffy coat and uh, really trap in some body heat on some extreme cold conditions. But as far as what it's designed to do, being a rain jacket, it checks the boxes. This rain jacket is loaded up with features. Like I was saying, the sleeve cuffs have an adjustable elastic um, cuff and then the Velcro uh, closure on it. You can actually get quite small on it and really uh, create a nice seal around your wrist. It's uh, definitely a very comfortable wrist strap. It doesn't uh, seem like any of the sharp edges or anything from the Velcro kind of come through and rub on your, your arms or anything like that, uh, that I can tell so far. Uh, it does have two front hand warming pockets. They do not have zipper closures on them, so they're simply there for uh, your hands or holding gear that, uh, maybe a snack bar or something like that that can get wet. Uh, but they, they definitely function well and they're good size too. I don't have any problem even with gloves on getting my hands inside there. There's a storm flap over the zipper which keeps the waterproofness on the front of the jacket. Uh, if Velcro is closed, the zipper that they used is a YKK plastic zipper. And because of the storm flap, they were able to use a much easier slide and sliding zipper with a larger number five size and keep the waterproofness by folding the storm flap over. Uh, most of the other jackets on the market are going to use some kind of water resistant or uh, waterproof zipper to uh, take care of the front of the jacket. Lightheart Gear realized that those things aren't foolproof anyways and they use this plastic zipper that's going to be so much easier to slide up and down and uh, adjust when you need a little bit of air to come in. Um, and I, I really like that they thought to use a storm flap and a non-waterproof zipper that functions better. It's got a fully function, functioning hood too, which is awesome because there's so many limitations in a lot of the other jackets' hoods. It's got a really, really nice brim. That's, I mean, it's, it's a three and a half inch brim on here. And the drawstring comes from behind that brim. Now, it does have a cord that runs all the way through uh, side to side. And then there is a cord lock on either side. I have to say that if there was one thing I was going to change about this jacket, I would get some of the cord locks that have the slots in them so that it could be stitched into the side here where it comes out of the channel. That way you could just use a single hand on either side and pull down to cinch the hood when you needed to put it on and you would really only need two hands to draw it back out. So. Um, maybe use a piece of shock cord, then you wouldn't even need two hands to draw it back out. So uh, there, there's the, just the one thing that, that really I, I, I didn't completely fall in love with, but I'll tell you, this style is 100% more functional than the single pull on the back that creates that, uh, I don't know, cinch around the top of, the, of, of your head. This just, it, it functions way better being able to close it down around your face and uh, follow the contours of your face much easier. Let me put this back on and I want to show you a few other features about it, but I want to show you how well it layers real quick. So I'm going to move the camera and get that on. I'll be right back. So it layers up very nicely. I 
I'm getting hot already. It's only like 58 degrees out here, so uh, this is way too much warmth with the insulated jacket on the inside. Just wanted to touch on a couple of the other features that make it easier to see when I'm wearing it. So they do have these huge pit zips on them. So being that it's not waterproof, the pit zips are priceless. They are 19 inch pit zips and you can see that they just open up a ton of space. Now, what I never see anybody talk about on pit zips is that if you need some more breathability, you can flip your arm out of it and wear it just like that. I have my torso, my upper body covered and protected if it's rainy or windy, cold, anything like that. And then I have my um, sleeves with that extra breathability. So um, I think that's a big feature that gets missed quite often. Now, being that it only has the hand warming pockets on the sides, I think it's uh, very good to point out that it does have two waterproof pockets on the inside that are huge. So uh, when carrying something that's a little more delicate, your camera or your phone or something like that, maybe you put your pack down and you're going up to a peak and you want to get some pictures, this is a nice storage area and it is waterproof. So uh, definitely a very nice feature that they added on there. Again, the features just keep on coming with this thing and I, I like it more and more each time I put it on. Um, it's very comfortable to wear. I feel like I've got plenty of space on the inside and I'm impressed. Last couple things I really want to just highlight here. Uh, firstly, the color that they have. Uh, cranberry, I, I love this color. It's bright and fun. I, I just, I really enjoy the color. You can see with the single layer, uh, the transparency of the jacket, how you can see my hand through there. Uh, the other thing that I really want to kind of get into here is the seams are not taped like a lot of the other jackets on the market. They are bound. So uh, they're waterproof because there is an additional layer of fabric that's waterproof that goes over all of the seams to keep them uh, nice and watertight. Now, another thing that I really like is that Lightheart Gear took the time to recognize that on the front of the cinch for the hood, it needed to be double stitched for strength, durability, long lasting wear, and just getting as many miles out of it as you can. So when they were able to get away with it, they single stitched, and when they needed to, they double stitched, and I love that they highlighted those little attention to detail type things that are really just gonna help to make this a long-term uh, great decision as far as um, your rain jacket coverage is in your pack. So um, Just a great great thing. I wanted to highlight there the jacket's very packable it Obviously is uh, it's very compressible the fabric allows it being single layer to comp compress down um, Much smaller than a lot of the other jackets that are available. Uh, it does come with this nice little stuff sack now um, Without the stuff sack, this jacket did have a tendency to kind of float around in my pack a little bit and spread out. Uh, I, I found myself reaching into the pack and, and grabbing the jacket when I was reaching for something else on a couple of occasions. So uh, the next time I did use a stuff sack when I took it out, it, it doesn't make much of a difference as far as weight is concerned. This is a medium jacket and it came in just the jacket alone at 6.27 ounces on my scale. And with the stuff sack, it was 6.31 ounces. So not too much of a difference there. And it, it's definitely worth it because it, it keeps it compressed, keeps it in your pack exactly where you need it when you go to look for it. Um, so it's, it's no secret. We're huge fans of the cottage industry and the companies that make up the cottage industry here in the US. Uh, I've had a lot of success with different pieces of gear that was from that industry. So I just wanted to take a minute here and highlight uh, a couple things about the company because I just, I find it so cool to hear the stories about these cottage companies and where they came from and kind of how they ended up here. So I emailed uh, Lightheart Gear just reaching out, hey, I bought one of your jackets. I like it very much. I'm gonna do a little video about it. Can, can I talk to somebody and find out a little bit about the company? And uh, Judy, the owner, um, actually, troll name Heartfire, so kind of where the name Lightheart Gear came from, um, she called me from the PCT and uh, was in town doing some laundry and resupplying, and uh, she took the time to talk with me. 
and that that impressed me right off the bat um so i just want to highlight a couple of key like things that i pulled from that conversation so um judy had sewn her whole life um in 2006 she hiked the at and had a four and a half pound tent that took up more than half of her backpack. So being that she had the skill to do it, she thought when she got home, she would make her own tent lighter and smaller. Uh, a friend of hers saw that tent and said, of, of course, um, when, you, when you make good DIY gear, what every good friend would say, you should make these and sell them. So uh, Lightheart Gear was born and she started selling just tents and then graduated into uh, rain gear and now women's clothing uh, that's for hiking specifically. She makes some incredible um, skirts and um, uh, dresses that are available on the website. And uh, now they just, they open a new facility, uh, manufacturing facility in uh, Asheville, North Carolina, and all the gear is made in the US, which is huge because not a lot of companies can say that. In closing, I just want to give a big thank you to Judy. Um, she was on the PCT when she talked to me. That's incredible. Uh, she said she definitely has some new ideas floating around in her head. The best ideas she has, she said she gets while she's on trail. So when she's back here in just a few weeks, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, the new gear that she's been thinking about while she was on trail. Um, it's such an excellent piece of gear, this jacket is. I, I really hope that I was able to give you some good information to help you decide if this is uh, uh, the right piece of gear for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate. Drop them in the box below. We love hearing from you guys. We want to answer your questions if you have any more. Thank you for watching. Um, I lost it. Total weight, just the jacket alone came in at 6.27 pounds. Add the stuff sack here at 6.31 pounds. I, uh, yeah, let's redo that. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm.